Hello, this is Bino. Welcome to my channel. I'm an arborist and a tree climber specialist. And what I like to do on this channel is to share tree climbing tips with beginners and experts. And today what I wanted to talk about is a Petzl Captive. Um, this is what it looks like. It's a um, positioning bar for carabiners. Um, it's great when you're going to be using uh, mechanical friction devices because on some of those you have to have a, um, a carabiner that doesn't side load. All right, let's get to it. So here we have the, the rope runner and here's the, um, the carabiner I use with the rope runner. It's a, it's a smaller O, the DMM smaller O, or perfect O I think. Um, so here's what happens. Once you put it in, you can see that the connecting point is a fixed point and it doesn't come off. But what can happen is when you're climbing, it can side load. And with all carabiners, the strength is in the major axis, not in the minor axis. So you're really not supposed to let a carabiner side load. Um, with what this captive will do is once you put it on, and it'll, it'll go like this. When you put it on, it'll be connected oops, in this way here. You can snap it on and then you screw it. And what that little piece, this positioning bar does, is won't allow it to side load. It's not a rated piece of equipment. The only thing it's meant to do is to keep it in place so it stays in its major axis. And with the akimbo, it's the same same situation. It has a fixed eye on it, um, and it's wide. So um, if you put a carabiner here, and it would do it would do the same thing where it could side load. So um, that's what we're going to do next. We're going to put the positioning bar on and and show how we do it. So what we have here are two different size carabiners, a regular size and one that's a little smaller. What's really good about this uh, positioning bar is you can use it for both sizes. Um, you do have to know that it's an H-frame carabiner and these work on an H-frame carabiner. They have these um, little grooves where it'll um, fit in place. So what you'll want to do is you'll open up the carabiner put it on your device in the way that you want it so we'll slide it on and I'll get it so what I, the way I'm more comfortable when I open the gate this way and I connect it to my belt so once you get it on um, the small piece will go toward the hinge and then the big piece will be on the, the wider portion so let me see if I can connect this so I kind of bend this open a little Let's see if I can open it one maybe I could just press it hang on Connect it, grip it, there it goes, got it. So snap it into place. Oops, it's one up, run on me. Okay, after I snap it into place, now what I gotta work on is opening this side and I'm gonna lock it in here. Okay, so I'm just gonna get this one set before I decide to screw it in. And now I'm gonna get the akimbo and I think Noah's gonna like to connect it this way where his gate opens on this side. And you'll do the same thing. Get the, the large one first and connect it. I'll push it open here. They're a little bit hard to open up, but once you get it on, snap it into place. All right, snap it, boom. Then once you get it there, the little one goes to the hinge side, open it wide, snap it into place. Now, once you got that on, now you're gonna flip it and they got these tiny little screw holes here and the screws that come with it. The little bit of a downside is that once you get it on, it's kind of fixed. So you're, you're probably gonna, I mean, it's connected with your device. So it's kind of dedicated to your device. Not like you can just go switch them out, you know? But a good thing is you can always undo it and take it off when you feel like it. What's really cool about this is that um, you can use, um, you know one of these positioning bars one size and it'll fit the bigger and the smaller which is an awesome thing because um let me see if i can get this on okay let's see if i can get it closer okay there it goes all right got that baby tight now let's get this other one ready flip the akimbo throw the screw in get the other screw ready okay and just make it tight okay other side here all 
All right, now there you go. So now when you're gonna put it on, you got your Kimbo, slip it onto your D and it's ready set. Um, and it shouldn't, it shouldn't side load. Oop, I gotta make it a little bit tighter. It's kind of loose. Okay, okay. There it goes. Oh yeah, there we go. And same goes with the rope runner. All right, there you go. Next thing we're gonna go do is uh, go put it on the rope and see how it works. Now that we've installed the, uh, the positioning bar, I'm just gonna attach it to the, the rope and go like up a couple of feet and just see how it looks. So let's start by unclipping the, the top here. Pop it on, maybe. There it goes. Open this baby up. So the carabiner is connected, it's already on. Let's see here. Slide it in. Open that up. Slide this in. So let me see if I connected it the right way. So yeah, this is the way I like to connect onto my belt, through this side. Let's see. Oops. I'll just go up like about a step, not really high, and see what happens, how it looks. All right. All right, there it goes. Oops. There we go. Yeah, you can see that all it's going to do is if I, once I put down a little bit of pressure on it, it's not going to move. It won't allow it to be side loaded. That's really pretty cool. So let me try it with the akimbo real quick. Let's slide this one up a little bit. Just throw it up to the top. Grab the akimbo. Flop it open, open it wide, oops, dang, almost, there it goes, open it wide, let the rope in, mm. there it goes, bring it down this side here, lock it into place, all right yeah and this is actually perfect all i have to do is open it slide it in oh this is not my settings but you can see that'll be that'll work perfect that's not going to get in the way it won't allow it to side load now this is a pretty cool little tool i mean a pretty cool little device there you go with the uh, pencil captive I have two carabiners that are now won't slide load on our friction devices. Um, really inexpensive. Uh, for a bag of 10, it cost me like 20, 20 bucks or so, um, which is great because if they ever break, I'll just replace them. Um, and what's really good about it is they don't really have to be completely dedicated to this. I mean, they do have some carabiners that are, that are like fastened inside where it's a bar. So if I decide I don't want to use it with this akimbo, I can unscrew it and just take it off. Anyhow. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to, um, if you do some new techniques on tree climbing, do it low and slow. You don't want to get hurt. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you like what we do. And by all means, share our videos with your friends. All right, take care. We'll see you next time.